Hello and welcome to the NBS show, episode number 523. Yes, I'm your host, Norman Sanzo, and we got a news for you this week. Yes, a news. So now let's not dilly dally and hop right to it. Tell your tale will continue into 2025! Exclamation mark for specials and weekly shorts incoming. The G5 train is apparently far from over. Licensing Mag has a new page all about 40 years of ponies in their recent issue where they uh, whether they detail everything um, yeah I think that's where anyway uh, detail everything from upcoming merchandise lines to the health of the My Little Pony brand in general. Apparently, Make Your Mark is in the top 10 for kids show in 90 different countries as of October of 2022. The big news here is announced. Give me a second. I'm curious. Okay, it's uh, so The big news is, here is the announcement that Tell Your Tale will have content for a whopping two more years starting in 2024 with brand new episodes releasing every single week. Oh, cool. They're doing the weekly thing. That's nice. Uh, they also have four long specials planned throughout the 2024 year. Though they didn't give any details on what those are. Expect your G5 ponies to stick around uh, long into the future, get the full uh, infograph below. <clears throat> so it's just this, right? Um, pop, 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 pop. I'm just checking out. <coughs> Sorry. Um, let's see if I can just, all right. More licensing stuff, more, more stuff, but what, what did, sorry, what the, um, take, what you can take out of this is that, that, um, there's been 40 years of ponies, yay. Also, G5 is sticking around to 2025 as for now. So that's pretty cool. One episode a week. Uh, that would make one episode a week. So for, I, I'm not going to count them bad. But yes, uh, there is a lot of episodes coming into the future. Plus four specials. Uh, I'm guessing those are 45 minute specials. So this is considered good. Um, G5 is healthy. It's getting its stride. And it seems that a lot of people are watching it, uh, especially the part where they say that uh, it's in the top 10 in 90 different countries as of October 2022. That has got to be something really cool for G5. And they have new toys incoming and whatnot. That's cool. So, <clears throat> uh, how, how would I put this? Okay, so as for us, the MBS show, what we think about, I, I won't say fair for the MBS show, as for me personally, because I don't speak for Silver or Jacob or whoever else decides to come. But yes, uh, I don't speak for them. And personally for me, G5 is okay. It's not bad. It's just okay. And that's the problem with being okay. You're you're not pushing any boundaries. You're you're not doing stuff to kind of attract people. I, I don't know how, I don't know why, but I personally am just okay. Uh if you're wondering where is our review for G five and whatnot, um we're working on it. it it's just that with the brevity of content from G5, there's two 
shows tell your tale make your mark and what do we do how do we cover this uh and uh most of them are sorry make your mark if i'm not mistaken is the animated cartoon traditional 2d cartoon and uh that's around five minutes long and so on and how how do we handle that do we take on in chunks of two uh, episodes make it 10 and so on so yeah it's one of those things where i personally need to figure out how to do this and decide on what to do for g5 and how do i do it um, one of the few things that i decided to do is follow the um give it a second is follow the episode guide that <clears throat> sorry uh, that overcast did uh, this episode guide has a lot of info that are kind of a godsend because uh, the exclamation mark here says part of the main story and and or referenced in later episode so this is kind of important because hey i we, we can just watch this and uh, use this as the guide to review the episodes or the overarching story and so on i mean we, we obviously um, miss out on stuff like nightmare roommates uh, the unboxing of easy and so on uh, so yeah this is one of those things where i have to decide how to handle this and how to do this uh, and also the uh, tell your tales and make your mark kind of thing are just all over the place and oh uh, that that is just confusing also here uh spring 2022 and then you got what uh the summer of 2022 and this is just the comics uh and then you have the oh man so this is what i mean by i'm having problems on how do i uh, review this how, how how do i even uh tackle this so yeah uh, this is up on this is for me to figure out and for you to enjoy the content so yeah but other than that oh no other than that i shouldn't really uh bother you guys with that kind of detail it, it, it doesn't really uh you you can give feedback on how you want us to do it but yeah, we will try and think of something. We'll try and think of something. And that is the news for this week. So let's move on to um next topic. Um I guess story time. So usually uh after news we go to what have I been doing my week. But since this is a one news episode or one news podcast, I don't feel like leaving you guys with only eight minutes worth of content give or take seven probably so I'm, I'm gonna kind of push it a bit longer by doing the um oh no what's this yay stories <clears throat> so the mbs show stories yay story time so anywho in today's story time uh, one of you guys um oh man i am bad with this give me a second folks i'm trying to find said person that brought this up and i'm not calling them out um this is one of those things where i highly appreciate it because uh it needs to be um highlighted and um asked Oh no, yes, okay, cool. And said person is Solar Power. Uh, they asked, why was the sound only in the left channel for this video? And that's the question there. And I'm going to give you the explanation and reason for why. So this microphone that I'm using right now, um, it's a Presonus. It, it, can, it came in a bundle. So it gave me the microphone, the audio box, or the mixer, whatever it is. And what else did it give me? 
um, headphones, which I use till now. So yay, worth any money, I guess. And they gave me this three starter kit. And the microphone itself is, how do I put this? The, 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 the setup I have is very entry level. The audio box or the USB audio, uh, audio box, USB, whatever it is, has two um, coaxial input. Coaxial is the type of input. This is, give me a second. This is going to sound bad. Sorry. This is the set, uh, sorry. Um, this is the setup they give. This is kind of for uh, entry level because um, connections that <coughs> connections that use this are mostly for karaoke microphones and podcast setups and so on. So this is me not knowing what to how to do this because I remember buying this a, a day after disaster. And what I mean by disaster is that we were Sorry, I was recording on my MacBook and the MacBook kind of died on me. And this was interviewing somebody from the Pony community way back when. So my gear was destroyed. Like, sorry, the, the MacBook was kaput. If I remember right, uh, the motherboard or the screen, let's just say that it was broken beyond repair. So what I did was the next day went to the mall, the IT mall or whatever it is, and went and find a microphone, which is quote unquote, uh, higher quality, better than your razor, um, ear, how it was better than your razor headphone mic combo thing granted. I've tried one now. I I tried um, one recently, and its quality is okay. I won't say it's the best, but it's okay. And I I wanted something like this to make it, you know, to up my game, to become more professional, as you say. So I I got this. I I bought I bought it. I use it for the podcast and so on. And it was good, awesome, yay. So now, getting back on track after understanding how this machine works, is that <clears throat> uh, the microphone input, <coughs> or sorry, the mixer input has two jacks, one left, one right. So usually I would put it in the slot one. So that would mean it's it's recording my voice into the left channel. And if I have a second one, uh, let's just say um, this person over there or one of my friends, guess whatever it is, wants to record locally with me, I'll jack in another um, cable in and they'll go into output number two, which is the right channel. And oh, that's... Something I didn't know because when I look at a friend's setup, they had something similar but better, and their cable was a split. Um, two end cables to the box, um, one left, right, going out, and um, sorry, from the machine cable out and combining as a splitter of sorts. And I asked, oh, how's that, blah, blah, blah. Oh, and then I realized, okay, now no wonder my audio is only coming from the left channel or, or the right, sorry, usually it's the left channel. So yeah, it's coming from the left channel. Okay, so I, it didn't really bother me until I did video because <clears throat> back in the days, um, most of the MBS show news podcast was just audio podcast converted into or made into video. Uh, it's similar what the review show is. Uh, the news podcast is totally different, but uh, or it advanced. Um, the review podcast is something where 
I can control the um uh, the host or the co-host so doing that is quote unquote the most um what's the word i'm looking for uh the most time saving thing because uh silver wakes up around 8 a.m to record the show with us jacob is around probably 3 p.m to 5 p.m and i got no idea how their setup <laughs> i got no idea how their setup is in terms of video so I, I can't really force jacob or silver to say get your game on and get a better camera or use the camera or something like that so this is one of those things where i have to work with what i have and i am trying to reduce uh, more variables in the editing process so what i do now with the review show is or or the editing for the review show is just that okay guys to make the audio better to make the audio sound nicer i need you guys to record locally and then send those files to me thank you very much so i don't really need to uh, worry about oh video because technically i can record locally this is what we did with uh the convention uh, podcast but that was very uh, i'll say this uh it's very hard on me because that's my first time i do get an idea of how to do it but i just got no idea how to or i i, I don't have the time to kind of make it better because when we record the podcast i need to be uh, going on the drop of a dime because i don't want to waste people's time so this is one of those things where i need to figure shit out and <clears throat> this has well yeah i need to figure things out so now back onto the story with this box thing <clears throat> earlier last two weeks ago something like that there was a driver update for the audio device and i updated it oh no i i should have done that but i did so that somehow messed up with the left channel of this microphone thing and somehow it got worse uh it it usually records the left channel that's that's obvious but uh, one of the few things that i did previously was um use a virtual mixer where i guess it recorded um both sides i don't know now it doesn't so i'm just really confused so yeah um with that update and whatnot uh, it's screwed now i'm using the right channel to record this podcast now which i've tested a bit and it works yay but now they comes the problem of oh it's coming from the right channel only what happened to the left channel so to mitigate that i have to go to audio editing in my video editor and the thing is i'm not using adobe adobe a premium or after effects and whatnot i'm not using those because oof, the, the price of those are monthly and i know it's cheap for what 10 bucks i think for a month but i don't really like the subscription model because yeah oh no that, that that sucks i would rather pay one shot one lump sum for a version and um own it but that's not the model that adobe is doing so just 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 not think about it so i'm using other tools i'm, I'm trying to find one that's hit the sweet spot for me and i think this one is okay uh, if you're probably wondering what the uh, what what program i'm using i'll just say this it's not the 
best there's better out there but i'm comfortable with this one um and the program is called video pad video editor so i'm I'm using that for now and i'm I'm kind of used to it um gotten comfortable with it and i have been editing a video with it for a while now so yay um <clears throat> other than that yeah um i'll just say that after doing this i'll edit and try and see the quality uh thank you solar power for bringing uh for highlighting it out to me and i'm sorry for the terrible quality in this uh in the previous news podcast five to two and the reason why I realized my quote unquote mistake was I was recording something exclusive for the Patreons. Um go to patreon.com slash the MPS show uh to check it out. And it was me playing Contra, the anniversary collection on Steam, and just talking about, you know, my love for the game and my also love for the game and also um how i grew up with it and also my dad and so on so yeah uh was recording that and it took about yeah i'll just say half an hour not bad and when i played it back my voice was terrible the game audio was loud and i couldn't hear myself and i'm just thinking oh no that's bad that's very very bad and on a lark i had to use this thing um i'm sure you've seen this before uh this is the uh, zoom h1 portable or battery powered microphone uh technically what this is is a how do i put this um this is a recorder you know those recorders that journalists use or even um just you know it is just a portable recorder it's battery powered and so on also you can power it via usb cables so um this was used in previous videos and it worked out like a charm so i use this instead for the contra video and it helped me a lot but i have this and <laughs> the biggest problem with this is that let's just say that okay i'll put the microphone here the usb cable is here my computer is down there and i need to have a cable going to the device to the PC. It's doable, but I it'll bother my hands because hands, yes, it'll bother my hand because I'll be hitting the cable and whatnot. And for this setup here, um the cable is from the bottom here, goes up here to the mic stand and goes to the front. And it doesn't bother my hand at all. So I can do um typing i can raise my hand to a certain extent to emote myself so uh this not bad but still i need a lot of work and somehow i'm i still have this i'm trying to see if i can make it work you know so that's for this and i'll just have to wait and see because if this works and I manage to not go and, and not do too much work into editing and whatnot, like do a few buttons here and there, I, I, I probably can do it. So yeah, um, we'll see. I hope it works because I was testing out earlier on with a short five second clip. It worked and I hope it fixes the problem because I remember myself like told me that why was they um, clipping or um, static or whatnot? And I realized that, oh, the static was because of the audio editing that I did. And that kind of screwed things up. Now I have to rely on that 
because of the problem we're having now. So yeah, um, we'll see. We'll see uh, if you hear any problems or whatever it is. Do let me know so I can try and fix it somehow. Whew. Okay, anyway, uh, story time over. Let's go to what have I been doing in my week. So my week has been pretty okay. Um, besides magic, there's no D&D &D this week because my GM had an allergic reaction to something. He didn't really state what. So we're just going to assume it's <coughs> either something he ate or the medicine he was taking. So you, at, uh, viewers at home, you pick your choice. So as for magic, it was pretty fun. Um, went to two shops this week, one on Tuesday and one on Thursday. Um, the Thursday shop was... <coughs> The Thursday shop was, sorry, Tuesday shop. The Tuesday shop was infuriating because I, I don't know about you guys because when you're playing the game for so long, you learn how to play properly. You learn how to play well. You you see, sorry, um, you, you learn threat assessment and you see, oh, my opponent is playing this and has this. Oh, those two cards are a terrible combo. That's bad. That's really, really bad. I need to get rid of one of them. And I'm playing in a color where I can only get rid of that specific card only. Okay, no problem. My turn. I do the most um, smart thing by destroying the threat. And the threat is... Uh, the, the card states, at the beginning of your draw step, draw additional card. You At the end phase, you do not have to discard any cards. So, sorry, it's draw two cards and then discard one card. So, that's the card itself. And it's very bad with another card in play that combos off with each other. So, that's bad. So, me being the responsible player, destroy the draw two, discard one card. And the other, uh, and the other player said, "Oh no, that's not fun. Why do you only get to draw two cards?" And me hearing that, and just thinking of you no, know, just me hearing that and seeing that, no, that's bad. The person there is slowly killing us. That's very bad. You do not want that. And something in me snapped because. Um, I, I had a conversation with another friend about this player and yeah, just, it's just that you, you have a big, tr you have a threat on the board. Things are going to go insane if I don't do it properly or I don't deal with it. And it's true. Um, things went, uh, things went bad. <coughs> right. <coughs> Things went really bad. But <coughs> mm, choking. But in the end, it was okay. And also there was a new player, so that was something else too. Now Getting back on track, um, moving forward to Thursday's game. Uh, played a few rounds, had fun, and there was a new player came in, uh, joined us. And he this was, quote-unquote, his first time playing with us or playing the game. So that's more um, stuff to consider, not to bully the new guy. So um, a friend of mine said, oh, why don't you sit next to him so you can guide him? Which I did. And... I, I'll say this. I wasn't playing at my optimum because I didn't really want to pop stomp. Um, pop stomp is uh, a term where you go to a public event and bully everyone or something like that. And in this scenario here, I didn't want to do that because the person next to me, which I was guiding, 
was his first time playing. So I I, I just play stuff, and uh, nothing really big, huge, or whatever it is. It's, it's just I did something, and it was something while helping the guy understand the game, uh, letting him know if you do this, this will happen, and you know, teaching tips and whatnot. So I, I did that. I think he had a good time. Uh, I don't dare say that he did. Uh, didn't really ask her feedback from him because at the time I needed to head out early because a friend needed my help. So yeah. But from my experience, I saw he had fun. Um, he slowly, <clears throat> sorry, mm, throat. he slowly picked up on the game. I mean, he's not zero knowledge. He did play it in an event, so he does know a few things. But when you play in um, Commander, yeah, if, if you play Magic the Gathering in the Commander format, things are a bit different in terms of how you want to play the game and what's the goal of your game and by that i mean when you play the game are you going to play to win or play to have fun and are you going to play optimally or are you just going to play stuff you know like like why just play stuff and see what happens and there's this in and yang this balance where certain people have certain play styles and certain needs or certain ones and playing with senior players um judges and whatnot you want to play optimally and you want to play at your best so try not to screw up and try not to forget the rules which i do enjoy and when you play with a certain table with players who are not too high on the experience curve or too high on the competitive curve. They just want to have a nice weekend and play their game. I do agree with that too. And I do <clears throat> understand wanting to play the game. So, <clears throat> so what I do there is, okay, I'll, I'll just play optimally, but sorry, I'll just play my best, but if somebody had something and if I had an answer to the problem or the card, I probably would play it because I just want to see how this goes. Because if they can manage to do something fun and insane, I'm not going to take that away from them. The first time at least. Then if you pull it off again, then that's where you have a problem. <laughs> but yeah, um, Magic this week was fun. I, I hope next week the new player comes by again so we can see how he progress and whatnot and also um get him just enjoying the game because if he enjoys the game that means we got more players to play with so that's always a good thing so yeah oh, man. let's wrap things up let's wrap things up so if you guys um it's, hmm, give me a second all right, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at theambitiongmail.com. You can also reach us on X. The show's, to the, the show's X account is at the MBS show, and my personal account is at Norman Sanzo. Also, please rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. Links are in the show notes. If you would like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash MBS show. Uh, with every support, you get a week's early access to review discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. Uh, and a huge thank you from me. Talking about thank yous, I would like to thank Jacob, Lucky Knight, and also Master Flag. And uh, remember what I mentioned about the exclusive content thing? Um, uh, I, I, I'll think I'll just show you a picture. Yes, a picture. Or, or the web page. Yes. Come on. All right, there we go. Oh, oh no. I don't think so. This is record. Yep. Oh, no. No. Mute you. Mute you. Yes. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Why, why is it? Oh, no. Oh, no. This is terrible. 
Did I not double check the video to see if this works? Oh no. This is okay. There we go. <laughs> oh boy. So yeah, th this is me playing Contra. Um, usually there would be a face here, but because like I mentioned before, screw ups, I wasn't motivated to turn on the camera. I was miserable. I was miserable because of the audio. I, I had fun playing, <clears throat> but. Let's just say that I was miserable. <laughs> so yeah, this is all the kind of things that you can see on the Patreons. Like this is exclusive. This is not going on YouTube by the way. So if you want to see this, uh, subscribe. Yay. So anyway, um, I have been Norman Sanzo. I hope you enjoyed the podcast and I'll, get, <laughs> and I'll catch you guys next week with another fun show of the MBS show. See ya.